What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Hopefully you are having a fantastic day today. It has been, believe it or not, over two and a half weeks since I have recorded an episode in this world. Uh, it's been a while for me, so I gotta jump back in, get my pants tied straight, and uh, hopefully I can get back uh, into the swing of things pretty easily. But it's been a while, and, and you may not have even noticed. I was actually away. I was in Europe. Europe for two and a half weeks, uh, so I had to pre-record a whole bunch of videos, and if you didn't follow my Twitter, I'm not so sure you would have known. So, uh, yeah, there you go, that's that, uh, but we're back, so I thought I would jump in with the Let's Play, a and we're not on schedule right now. The schedule will pick up uh, as, as it should next week, uh, but for now, I thought I just needed to get one of these out. I'm dying to play. So yeah, before I get going, I think I should, as always, jump right into our goals for the day, which include start working on the interior of this house right here. Uh, we need to work on the fishing village down there. I want to blow up some caves with TNT. I want to do a little bit of enchanting and also possibly uh, fish a little bit and hopefully find some cool stuff in the water. So uh, that's that. That's what I've got planned for today's episode. Now we'll continue talking as I work on the interior of this crazy house right here. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to do in this area. I, I, I like it a lot the way it's set up right now with these leaves, but it obviously needs a lot more work. Uh, but that's that for now. Um, this is what I've got on the exterior so far. But today, uh, like I said, I want to work a lot more on the interior. So this in this little little area down here. What I think I want to get started with is, uh, well, I, I do need, I, I definitely need a, a crafting table in here, just because, you know, it, 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 it's, it's what's necessary. And I don't want to go for, uh, I don't want to go for anything too practical. I just want to go for, uh, for, for nice looking. So that's kind of the whole deal here. So maybe we've got some sort of countertop here. Something simple, not too crazy. And I don't want it to go too far. Yeah, it gets, gets kind of tight right here. So I think I'll just end it right there actually. So we'll go ahead, switch this up and take some of these out. It's, it's just, it's just too crowded. So we'll do this right here. It's a little tight, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we'll leave that right there. Want to make sure that I can grab those leaves. I can't. Whoops. Um, we'll just put those right there for now. I want to get these leaves. Yeah, there we go. Like that. So a little bit of decoration in there. And I think I also want to do this uh, over here as well. Uh, so we'll do that. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. Um, and then this is still missing some, something. Uh, it needs needs something. We'll try. Why don't we try adding uh, adding a kind of cabinet? I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep dropping stuff. We'll try basically mimicking this, but we'll we'll put it up here so it'll look like shelf space. Hopefully, we'll see how good this looks. I don't know. It looks kind of high up there, but that, that could be good. That could be good. Maybe add a uh, painting right here. Yeah, that, 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 that works. That works. And for some reason, I had to place all of those blocks around it. Um, that fills the wall nicely. It, it does. It does indeed. So we'll leave that right there. Do I take that to the top? It, it, no, nah, I think this might add a little bit too much. Uh, I think it makes it too flat right there. I think it... Oh, <laughs> got a sapling. Can't pick it up. That's fine. Um... Why don't we instead, why don't we instead add a flower pot here? And I don't have flowers yet, but we'll do that later. And then maybe one right here too. Yeah, that, that looks good. Uh, we'll add maybe a brewing stand right there. Yeah, just to fill out the space a little bit. So um, instantly an, a nice countertop area over here. And then maybe we have somewhere I could put iron bars. I, I don't even know what that would be for. No, I think that's stretching it too much. And then maybe back here we add two bookshelves. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And I think it's about that time, I should mention, I've got a little bit of a texture pack going here. Um, it's very, very minimal. It changes, it adds a slight variation to planks, 
logs, and then I think bookshelves. And that's it. I, I believe, I believe that's all it changes. So you'll have to let me know how you feel about it, but um, yeah, that's that. Okay, so this is looking pretty good in here. I think it's safe to say we can move on uh, to this area. And I also want to correct correct the lighting, uh, because that's one thing that is kind of all over the place right now. So I want to put the torches in meaningful places. Uh, and I think a good place would be above the door right there. Uh, maybe uh, above the window. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so this is fine with the lighting we have here. This is good, this is good. Nothing will be spawning in here. So we can take this over here. Is there anything I could add in this area? It's very tight, so I don't want to don't want to do too much. How about how about a small thing right here? Would that be No, I um, it could be too much. It could be. I think I think it is. I think it is. And I want to use my silk touch uh, pick for this to get that back. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I think this is fine. This is fine just to leave it here. Now if we go upstairs, there's more I could add in this area. Hmm. Okay, so uh, up here we've got a little uh, cubby over in this area with uh, some books you can read up there. Um, we've got a flower pot here on a little thing. Uh, if we go up this stairwell, we've got this area over here, which I think I'm going to change into a brewing room. So, don't want to do anything in here, but so far I think this is good. Also, let's take a peek at this view really quick. Whoa, that's good, that's good. <laughs> And then nothing out that side. And the bigger windows are actually down here. You get a nice, uh, a little bit of a better view out of this. And then a massive window right here. We'll eventually have something in that direction. But that is a beautiful sunset indeed. I think right here on the stairwell is another uh, pretty decent place to have a painting, so I'm gonna go for a too high, and I think that's different. Yes, it is. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I think this is a very good place to have a painting as well. We could probably also fit a torch in here for better lighting. Yeah, okay, I like that, I like that. And then we can maybe have a painting here? No, because that'd be touching that block. So this is fine, this is fine. Down the stairs, and then we see that I've started work on this area down here. We've got a chandelier over there, uh, some carved out areas. I don't know what I was thinking here. Hold on, let me fix that really quick. Do I have, yes, I do. Uh, perfect. I've got full blocks. We can put that there. There we are. So, uh, we've got this area. I've got, uh, a room off in this direction. Not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, um, or what this is going to be, or what really any of this is, uh, for that matter. But I want to go ahead and, uh, today decorate the common areas. So, the, this area out here, um, but I'll ignore the actual rooms, and we'll do that once we think of things to put in the rooms. Uh, so that's the plan. Let's see what I can do. This wall is big, and it needs something, and I think it could go for a 2x2 two two painting. That should be good. And then maybe over here I have some sort of uh, a bookcase? I, I don't know exactly how this will work. No, 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 no. Don't like that. Don't like that. Um, maybe I could put leaves on top. Maybe that would be good. Or I could have this be an aquarium. Oh, that's what I want it to be. An aquarium. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so I don't have ice with me. I'll have to do that later. But imagine that there's uh, two ice blocks right here. It'll be like an aquarium. Or I could just put glass. I could do that. I don't know, but that, I think, is a really good spot for uh, for one of those. And then maybe I could also have a flower pot. Oh, I couldn't do it, though. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine there. Um, Over here, I think, is a good spot to finally get... Uh, no, not there. Not like that. Like uh, this. There we go. Um, I think that's a good spot to do our little tree. Yeah, I like the way that looks. And then we'll go ahead and put a trapdoor uh, to cover that. Okay. And do we do it on the other side? Yeah, let's do it on the other side. Why not get a little bit adventurous? So uh, I need the dark oak. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah, perfect. Um, the one thing I don't like is that it connects. Uh, the fence connects. So, I don't know. I, I may change this fence out for uh, trapdoors, but then I think the trapdoors would be too much. So, I don't know, but so far, this is looking good. A lot better than before. Now, what could I do uh, in this area? Hmm. What about that? Now, 
This is a three wide couch. It fits right in the middle of this and uh, yeah, I like it. Fills out the space nicely. Now, if there was a way, I think it would be really cool to add something behind here, but it's just, I think it's just gonna be too crowded. So we'll leave it as that. We'll leave it like, like it is now. Um, and that's good. So we've got that done. This wall is good. Now I could add, Oh, I should probably start thinking about the torches. Where do I have lighting here? Um, over that makes sense. Um, this, no, don't want to do that. Don't want to do this either. Or this. Jeez, I, I completely lost track of all this. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, um, I think this is good. I think this is good. So we've got this area in here. Now, uh, quickly in this, uh, on this wall, I think I want to add something. Just looking at what I've got here, um, I, I could just go for the painting. That's the safe move. It's what I've been doing. But I want to try, let's try, let's try something with this stair. Um, I don't know exactly what I could do. What if I do something like this? It's, I, I don't even know what I'm making, really. Uh, but then I maybe put a flower pot right there with a flower in it. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of filling space now. We'll leave that there. I might change that in the future. But this floor, this floor looks to be pretty good. So, I'll leave it like it is. Or, oh, wait a second. I see potential here. Let me go ahead and do that. Now... I could have this just the same, but would the wood clash? Oh no, it wouldn't clash because I would have this. Yes, okay, now this might work. This might work, this might work. I might be onto something here. Let me grab our final three, or our final oak leaves. I'm just gonna throw this one so I have a little bit of extra space. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's this floor. I could do a little bit here. I should do something right here. Um, what should it be? Uh, let's just do something that looks like a small cabinet. So we'll do something like this. Yeah, a small cabinet. It's got some books or something. There we go. That's nice. Um, this area, not too sure. I could have a painting. No, I don't think anything would really fit too well there. We'll just go down here and uh, I'll put a painting right here. Uh, and it should be too wide. Uh, that should do it. All right, let's grab these out. And are there, are there any other two wide? No. Think I have that one already. Think I have that one. And I, yeah, I think there's only two. So we're going to have to go back. We'll do the one that was farther away. This one. <laughs> so there we go. That's that. And then we come down here. All right. This is where it'll get a little bit interesting. So down in this floor, I've got this area over here that goes up to uh, a nice little viewing platform here. Uh, you can get a good look at what we just did in this room. Uh, and then we can also come down here, and as you can see, we've got a few more rooms off in this direction that I, I need to design. But for now, I just want to do uh, I just want to do the common space, which is right through here and uh, into this room, I guess. So. Let's see what we can come up with. Hmm. Okay, so this room I like, and I think I want to quickly add a painting right here. I haven't done a one-by-one, one, so there we go. That's that. Um, yeah, I like it. So small space back here, nothing too crazy. Over in this direction, however, I'm having a little bit more trouble. Uh, I just don't know. There's there's not a lot of space. I guess I could... Ooh, ho, ho. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's gonna keep giving me two by twos. Hold on just a second. I want a uno by uno. There we go. Uh, that's that. Um, okay, that's good, that's good. Still nothing too crazy in here. And then I think one, uh, one more, um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave the rest for later. That's a lot of interior designing for today. So if any of you have any ideas or any inspiration, um, go ahead and uh, either tweet me or somehow get pictures to me. And, uh, and let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see added to the house. But so far, I think it feels a lot more like a proper home already. And, uh, I'm feeling good about it. So I'm gonna go put some of this extra stuff away and, uh, meet you guys, uh, in another location. I want to work in the estate cellars. That's what I want to do. And I've got, oh man, I've got TNT. Uh, I, I've saved this up for quite a while. However, 
I don't have uh, the flint steel. I, I thought I brought it down. I might actually have, ooh, wait a second. Will being organized pay off? Yes, it will. There we are. It's right here. Okay, so we can go ahead and uh, get started here. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to carefully blow up area over here. Don't guess. Is it good? Okay, I'm kind of feeling that. Now I'm gonna quickly do something a little bit dangerous here, and I'm gonna see what happens when I do uh, that. Okay, time to go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're very good, we're good, we're still good. Okay, so this is kind of the size I want. I'm gonna leave this buffer, uh, because I don't wanna blow anything up that's over here, and we'll keep it like it is right now. So there we go. Um, this is a good size right here. I think uh, maybe off in this direction I could have something that leads to uh, maybe a nether wart farm, something I definitely wanna have underground. So, uh-oh, what is this? Can I clog it? Yes, I can. Can I blow it up? Yes, I can. Okay. Ooh, time to go. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I thought I was going to be able to do that, but uh, you can't. It's just going to go down the water, apparently. Okay. 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 Are we doing good? Oh, man. More water. I, 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 it's making it very difficult, I must add. But um, is this going to be easy to patch? No, is it not? Oh my goodness, this thing goes back so far. Yeah, uh, this is slowing down progress. I'll work on that a little later, so I'll have a branch that goes out that way. And then why not have a similar branch that goes out this way? So maybe go right here and here, and uh, kabooya. Uh-oh, time to go. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, there we are. This branch can continue out because there is no uh, lava or water or anything like that. So that works. Let's jump back and uh, should be good to go there. It's getting a little bit low, which I like. I like the change in elevation. Think it's gonna make for a, ooh, hello there. Uh, <laughs> we can kind of see what we're under just for a second. Um, all right, I think I want to bring it back up just a tad, so we'll blow up this uh, this area right here. I think two uh, two TNT next to each other make a really good size uh, cavern, so I like that. And uh, there we go. It was only a matter of time. Uh, let's go ahead and patch that up really quick. Oop, there we go. Should be good. And. A little area in this direction. That's nice. Now, one last direction. Let's make one that goes this way. Um, and let's start with uh, two right there. Boop, boop, and bang. Let's check it out. Hopefully this is good. So, uh, so uh, the goal is... Um, to have a huge system uh, down here of things of things that I don't want above ground, basically. Or, or a lot of things that I don't want above ground. It's the things that you can't make look good. So automatic farms will be down here. Um, you know, so stuff like that. Um, things that you can't really l make pretty uh, above ground. Like, I can make stables look very good. Uh, I can make uh, a fishing hut look pretty cool. But there's something... Hey! Hey, buddy, how's it going? Um, there are some things you just can't. So, yeah, this is for all of those things. We've got to, uh, a little bit of a cave here. Not so sure about that. Doesn't look like there's much, so I'm just gonna act like it wasn't even here and uh, and continue to blow stuff up. Actually, I think I'll just put them right there. Yeah, there we go. And let's jump away. Uh, we should be good. So this whole system. Uh, will hopefully be pretty cool to, to work through. Um, so that's that. I think that's all I'm gonna do on this for today. So, just to let you guys know what's happening down here, I'm gonna decorate this all up like, uh, like the, the other area over there. Uh, similar design. So, stay, uh, stay on the lookout for things happening down here. That should be good. Now I'll put some of this extra stuff away. And, uh, we'll head on to do some more stuff today. So, here we are at the fishing village. Now, there's been a lot of, uh, oh my goodness, my phone is blowing up, I apologize. Um, yeah, there, there's there been a lot of comments, uh, suggesting things to do with this village, but the most common theme, um, is, is to expand it, to make it into an actual village. And that was my goal from the start. 
Excuse me? <laughs> Had to cough there, my bad. Um, okay, so yeah, yeah, that was my that was my goal from the start. And I think what I've got here is is a little bit of of a feel of what this and the lag is unbelievable. I apologize. And oh my goodness. I think I've startled it. I think I've startled it even more. Are we good? We're good. <laughs> So I, I've got to stand over here, uh, and Mr. Batty, goodbye. See ya. See ya. Only two hits. There we go. Um, so I've got this area over here. Not sure exactly how I'm going to decorate this, but when I built it, I was imagining uh, the place where you weigh your fishes. You know, where, where you see... Where you see the people have the shark hanging by its tail, something like that. That's what I was kind of picturing here. So it's a little bit of a stage, almost. Not sure if I'm going to keep it, but uh, that's what I've got so far there. I've started another building here. I've got this, like tree stump kind of deal I don't know just kind of playing around um, and then I've got this house that I've not yet completed but I've got the framework for uh, so that's that and then of course this house and I don't believe I've changed anything um, although a few people had some brilliant ideas one of the things that someone suggested I do is, is take out this iron because it's a little bit too invasive uh, and, and I'm gonna instead replace it with uh, pressure plates so we can try that and yes, it looks a lot smoother, a lot more like a cutting table would. Uh, so there we go. I'll leave that there. Also, some people suggested it was a little too crowded, so I uh, lagged the game. Goodness. Are we fine? I don't know. Something over here. I, I, I think it's the mine shafts below. I've tried getting all the caves lit up and everything, but there's something. I don't know. Um, anyways, so yeah, I, I've, cl I've took, take the, I've, I, I, uh, I can't even speak now. I've removed the clutter, uh, a little bit of it. I left this and this. Uh, and this over there, but, um, there was one, so, so there was a note block right here, got rid of it, it was a little bit too crowded, um, but that should be better, hopefully, um, also, I've added furnaces here, and, and a, uh, and a little bit of a chimney, which you can kind of see here, and uh, I guess you could smoke your fish here, possibly, I don't know, that should be cool, um, so that's that, also another great suggestion, someone said these little things could be like cans of worms, which I thought was a brilliant idea, so for those of you that couldn't picture the little cargo boxes, can of worms everyone needs them for fishing so that's that and another great idea you guys were all over it in the comment section when i checked um people said why not use spruce wood underwater to to show that the wood is a little bit wet so i've done that over in a few areas um and you can kind of see so let me know how you feel and i might do it to the whole neighborhood um which will be pretty cool so that's that uh now i think it's about time let me get started uh on this other house over here so, uh, first things first, I want to start by placing, uh, more wood, and you, uh, you need to go out, buddy boy. Uh, so yeah, this one I, I was feeling would be more, uh, uh I don't know, I, something, I, I, I brought the, I brought the stone up higher, and I wanted this to be, uh, that to symbol, sim symbolize, geez, cannot speak, uh, a, a more sturdy, a more sturdy building, so something that, um, that maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe is a little bit more permanent, maybe something like a smokehouse where the, the fish is cooked. I know that I just said you could smoke fish in it, but maybe that's what this is designated for. Or maybe this is the fisherman's house. Uh, it could be really anything. I'm going to let that come to me as I design the interior. But before I do that, I think uh, obviously one thing that I need to do is get these back walls up to get a better feel of what this place is going to look like. So let me do that and I will be right back. All right, so the house is divided into into two small sectors, I guess. This is the greeting room, um, very small, very compact. Up here is uh, a little bit of a larger room. And then also out here, I've got a very, very small, uh, small dock. Um, it's not meant to have a, a boat or anything like that on it. This is just simply... I don't know a place to walk out and view and view the water so i'm gonna have it very small on purpose uh and maybe i can make it a little bit bigger um i yeah why not why not because maybe maybe there'll be a chair yes okay so i'm gonna take it out one more just so i can fit a chair but yeah it's nothing big nothing even close to as big as that i just want it to be nice and small a little bit above the water so a little bit different than that as well and uh yeah, I think it'll be cool. So, that's that. Let's get uh, let's get to designing the interior, shall we? 
All right, so I got a little bit of a design set up here. I've got some sort of, uh, some sort of greeting room. Uh, not sure what this is all about. <laughs> I don't have any paintings on me or item frames, so this is what I've got. Um, and then up here, I think I, I think I do want to turn this into someone's house. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, what I'll do here is add. Uh, nice shrubbery, uh, you know, always nice indoors. Over here, I think, would be a really cool place to have, uh, an anvil. That was the wrong spot. Whoops-a-daisies. Um, so this is maybe this, uh, person's, uh, work workspace. So something pretty small. Uh, no, that looks too flimsy. It looks too flimsy. Maybe, maybe I need that to be... Uh, half slab, half slab, cobble half slab, possibly? Or, huh, or I could just use a stone brick. I don't know. I don't know if I like that either. So, we, we've got some, we've got some designing to do in here. Ah, uh, why not a cauldron? Yeah, okay, I like that. That's a little bit better. That feels a little bit tougher. Um, and then up here, oh, could I slide? Yeah, a little bit of shelving space up there. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Anything else? Um... Not really. This over here will be probably a bed right here. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, I don't have that on me right now. So why don't I use um, something like uh, this right here, possibly? Then put a flower pot. There'll be a bed uh, sticking out right here, and then a little bit of space to walk back here into the workshop area. Now um, I also want to have uh, maybe a torch right like that. And uh, some painting, some item frames, other stuff to spruce it up. That, uh, for now, is fine, though. And you, sir, get dead. There we are. And uh, finally, last thing I want to do is get this all decked out. And I can't do that. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do then. <laughs> um, oh, wait. It'll work. It'll work. This will work. Hold on. Uh, let me get over here. Yeah. Yes, and you go as well. There we are. Um, and yeah, so it'll be like that. Now, the bad part about this is I won't have any variation in the depth, but it'll be shorter. So, that cool. That that cool? That is cool. So, this is uh, this is what we've come up with. We've got a small house here. Uh, this is where this is where a living space uh, would be. Yeah, right in here. Uh, we've got a small little dock area out here. Okay, where are you? On guard. Huh. Who? You, sir. You on the roof. Get down. You are. Oh my goodness. I can't even. I can't even combat. The lag is insane. Ah. Well then, um, yeah, so, small house, but it's good, but it's good, and then you, too! Ah, uh, I should just start going to sleep. Um, anyways, uh, over here, I think, is a perfecto spot for a spruce stair, but it's not, but it's not. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do something right there. Anyways, that's fine. So, this is the fishing hut, and uh, I think a cool thing uh, would be to expand this village just a tad more, maybe add two buildings along the riverside here, and then that can be the fishing village. So, uh, one of the final things I want to do today is I want to work in the bottom side cottage, and I want to get um, better enchantments and nothing too crazy I think what I'll do is just enchant a few books and then apply the enchantments however I need um, yeah the the goal though is to get depth strider boots so that is the plan hopefully I will be able to do such a thing if not that's fine I've got 40 levels uh, should be good so quickly I'm gonna go grab some diamonds from the uh, uh, the what do you call it catacombs uh, the storage room and I'll be right back so let's go ahead whip up some diamond boots head back downstairs and uh, hopefully be able to get depth strider so of course the first thing I'm gonna check is the boots if it doesn't work out we'll go ahead drop a book inside and fortune 2 luck of the c2 and sharpness 3 not too crazy let's try the boots again protection 3 nope not what I need how about a thorns 1 book for 30 levels that's crazy um again projectile protection 4 nope do not want it uh feather falling 4 though that's a good book that's a very good book um, luck of the sea too. No, have a depth strike. Oh, come on, man. Okay, luck of the sea, and I think. Oh man. Okay, so we can't afford this last enchantment, and it's still not depth strider. So, I failed. I failed. <laughs>
We add new books to the collection, Thorns, Fortune, Luck of the Sea and Sharpness, Luck of the Sea and Flame, and Feather Falling 4. However, not a single Depth Strider book just yet. It's a shame, it truly is. But uh, we'll be able to come back and try next episode. That's perfectly fine. Um, I could go back now, but the episode's been pretty long already, and I am not exactly feeling the best. A little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna try to get some rest. But before I sign off, you know the drill. You know the drill. You do, you simply do. It's a must, it's a must. I've got, okay. Oh, I just hit one of them. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll go fishing. We'll go fishing. I know. So, so the goal is to get three unique items. We're talking not fish. We're talking something useful. So, that's the goal, and then I will say our fishing is complete. It's only a matter of time. It's just about how lucky I can get. I would like it to rain, but, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to find something without it. Um... Yeah, so I'll update you guys once I get some cool stuff. Hey, there we go. A saddle. After a ton of casts, as you can tell, we finally got something. And also, I want to mention, I think I found out what the lag is all about. As you can tell, I'm running around, I'm jumping, I'm been, uh, I, I, I'm finally free. I finally figured it out. Um... So, I've got a confession. You guys may have noticed, but in the last few episodes, I have been cutting left, right, and center. A ton of cuts. And that's because, um, in my previous game, uh, before I fix the lag, how you, how you doing, big guy? You feeling good? Yeah. Um, okay, so, before I fixed it, um, I really couldn't, if, if I were to try to go this far... I couldn't without without a massive lag spike, and I'm see I'm getting a little one right now. Um, that's because it's already been a while since I fixed it, so you can see I'm getting a tiny bit of lag. Um, but before I, it would take me, it would take me, it would take me. Okay, it's coming again. It's coming again, uh, which is a shame. But it would take me like two minutes to get over there. That's how bad the lag was. Um, but I finally figured it out, and that's there's there's a spawner under here. Some yeah, it's bad again. I've been fishing for too long. Hold on. Yeah, so, there's a spawner, and all I have to do to fix the lag, temporarily, is, uh, just, just turn it to peaceful really quick, and then switch it back to hard mode, um, and, and, and I, the reason I didn't do that was because I wanted this to be on hard mode the whole time, but it, it's just not gonna happen, because it gets way too bad, so, in the next episode, or in a very near future episode, I'll go solve that problem, find the spawner that's spawning an insane amount of monsters, and making my lag, uh, my world lag, and uh, that'll be something we do, but um, that's the reason, so no more crazy cuts uh, left and right and me not really doing too much on camera because I can finally uh, start working on camera again, and I just found that out, um, so yeah, glad to, glad to finally figure it out, um, anyways, one cool catch down, uh, we got two more to go. Hey! <laughs> So, that's something new. We're up to 19 raw fish, uh, 6 raw salmon, 7 puffer fish, and we finally get our second unique catch. So, saddle in a bowl. Uh, the second one not as exciting, but it's still a unique catch. I'll count it. It's also because I've been fishing for so long. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, hopefully we can catch something cool for our last unique one. Maybe uh, an enchanted book. That would be the best, but... I don't know, we'll see, and, uh, and then we'll sign off, and, uh, and I can't wait for the next episode already. <laughs> hey, there we go, and it's a fire aspect too, that's not too bad. Um, I've already got it on this sword, but that's perfect for the next one. So, there we go, three rare catches, so our loot for the day will take a look. Uh, pretty good. Got a whole lot of food for the next episode and in between, which is fantastic as always. And, uh, some cool stuff. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, no name tags, which is unfortunate. Um, and, uh, oh, I should try naming the, the animals again. Now that the, the update has come out, we've gotten a few updates in, so I'll do that next episode. Yeah, should be fun. Anyways, that's it, guys and gals. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember, next week we will actually be on the schedule, the proper schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, 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 oh you treat me too well, Minecraft. What do we have? Feather Falling 4 in Lure 2. That is a good book. Um, so, yeah, in the meantime, Thanks. 
guys, gals, once again, I'll do it, I'll do it all over. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, you know the drill. Stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye, and thank you so much for watching.